Hello and welcome to our Christingle here at Hullminster. Normally, of course, we'd have loads of people here filling this space with the smell of oranges and lots of candles. But today, we're bringing you Christingle online. But welcome. Welcome to all of you who have joined us today. So those of you who are in Hull and maybe those of you that are further afield, welcome as we all share this light together. Let us pray. Loving Lord, we thank you for the light in our lives, for those who give us love and hope. We thank you for the Children's Society as it brings light to children and young people who feel unloved or without hope. Help us always to be a light shining in the darkness so that we can share the love of God with those around us. In the name of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. 
When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So the Christingle, as, as Dominic said, normally we'd have a, a room, the church would be full of these oranges and uh, the candles would be glowing, the warmth would fill our hearts and today we're remembering what this means. The orange is a symbol of the earth, we're all a part of it. And the earth and, and the world in which we live have four different seasons and creation fills this earth. And we remember each different sweet on here. Each of them symbolic of each season and creation in which we belong. And then we have this candle right in the middle. This candle represents to us Jesus Christ born this Christmas time. I want to share some words now from the Bible that speak of this candle, of this light. In the Gospel of John we hear when Jesus spoke again to the people he said, 
I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And that promise is true for you and for your families this Christmas. Finally, you can see a circular around the edge of the orange, we have this red ribbon. And this red ribbon represents the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus poured out for us, for you and for me, for his children. We read this in 1 Peter. For Christ died for sins for all, for the righteous and for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. So as we look at our Christingle today, we give thanks for the hope that we find in Jesus. In the midst of the darkness of our world, he has brought light, hope and joy. A great comfort to us this Christmas. Let us pray. We pray for the world. We pray that there may be light and goodness everywhere in our world. We pray for those who are hurting today, for those who are struggling today. We pray for peace in our world, peace in our homes, peace in our hearts. That the love and peace of God may fill our world. And let us join our prayers with the prayers of the whole church as we pray as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. for joining us at our special Christingle service today and over the Christmas period we are putting our other services uh, online so you'll find our um, nine lessons and carols is already on our Facebook site and website and on Christmas Eve we're going to be bringing you a nativity service which is going to be here in the Minster and also live streamed at 3.30 and there'll be our Holy Communion service on Christmas Eve at 7 o'clock and again at 10.30 in the morning on Christmas Day. So thank you for joining us.
Jesus, who left behind unimaginable riches and came to find us. Jesus, you are here. We share in God's love. Jesus, who came and walked alongside us to demonstrate God's love for all. Jesus, you are here. We never have to walk alone. Jesus, who showed us how to love all your children, especially those with no one else to turn to. Jesus, you are here. Together, we can reach out and care for one another, so all are included. We make this prayer in your name. Amen.